first time this system was was ever put together in the world. Mm. And until they switched, until we switched it on here, they didn't know that it would work. Having uh, the three different types of renewables going in together, yeah. They come in here in direct current and it's, co it's converted. This is a rectifier that produces, turns it to oh, AC. AC. Then it goes into the transformer out there. If there's too much power, we've got a series of heaters in public spaces like the community hall, okay. the two churches, down at the pier centre. Here, the, at the last resort, there's 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 four six kilowatt heaters. If there was a power cut, it means that these don't have to stop; that they carry on producing and, and throw it away. The hydro, like I was saying earlier on, is very is very clever. That's got a governor. Yeah. If the frequency goes up above, I think it's 91.7, the governor comes in and diverts water away. Uh, we have a small hydro just uh, a couple of yards away from the house, uh, which was installed in 2003, which has now become part of the, the main system. It's amazing because because we have 24 hour power, don't have to worry about switching the generator on in the morning, switching it off at night, no lights for the guests overnight, also just the hassle of uh, ordering diesel from the mainland and getting it taken over, getting it from the pier to here, put it in the tank, you know, making sure it doesn't run out, it's, it's so much easier. If it's a business, we have, I have 10 kilowatt here, uh, and if it's a domestic property, they have up to five kilowatt. We have this uh, little gadget called an owl, which uh, measures the consumption of our energy in each property. So when, it get, when you're getting to near your limit, an alarm goes off to let you know that you're getting close to it.